Hey there, Anton here. Uh, five minute demo on, on how to get your Netflix unlocked. Now, um, I use Netflix uh, on Blocker, uh, on Block Us Now. I've used Tunnel Beer, all of these guys, and they, they stopped working. So, it's, you know, keep on moving onwards and finding the right one. A um, couple of problems, of course, when you use um, VPN tunnels, you know, they, they don't work across all devices. You know, they work in you know, your PC, and that's about it. Um, so I have a method that, you know, you will be able to, to see Netflix across all devices, but of course it is a little bit uh, of an extra hassle. So let me just briefly show you uh, what is done. So this is uh, my current Netflix at the moment, so I'm looking for Mad Men, great series if you haven't watched it yet. Um, you know, and I don't have any Mad Men in here. Right? There's only titles related to. So what I can do is I can use my ExpressVPN and let me bring it in. Let's see if it's working. And then my ExpressVPN, it's a, it's a simple tool, same like the tunnel bear, you know, you press the on button, it will start connecting to the VPN server. Now it's, I'm using Washington DC too. Um, Netflix does actively block these VPN connections. Uh, but ExpressVPN is pretty good in creating new endpoints that are not blocked. So if it doesn't work, you can select another location. Now if we do the same thing on uh, Netflix, I might need to close it off altogether, but let's have a look. Here we go. So now I'm just refreshing and all of a sudden, you know, it's working fine because, you know, Mad Men is on the, the US version of um, Netflix. So that's uh, the, the simple one. Problem is I like to watch my uh, Netflix on the Chromecast or on uh, you know the connection downstairs and not on, on the PC so what I can do is I can set up a well rather advanced setup using I'll unplug it for a second this thing here you know it's a, it's a cheap enough um, router TP-Link uh, you can get it on Amazon for 20 bucks um, I'll put a link down as well in the, in the description if you want to get one of those. Uh, but most routers should should do the trick. And what you need is a um, unused Ethernet port or network connection on your PC. Yeah. So I'm connecting this PC via Wi-Fi, um, and then I have a, a free Ethernet connection that I'm using to plug in this little device. So once plugged in, you, you just connect it to the to the WAN port to the network port. Plug in the power, like so. So you can see it's like this case, WAN connection, power connection, switch it on. So now I have an additional network uh, set up. And what I can do then is once I connect to my um, uh, tunnel, so using ExpressVPN, I can open my network settings. So let me just open them up here. So go to my uh, adopter settings and the only thing I need to do is select that VPN uh, adapter that is added to it and just properties, share and then share it with your uh, network connection which is the Ethernet one. So now once you shared that uh, VPN connection you can then configure your router like any other router. Uh, give it a name, give the password, the net, network name, and then any device connected to this router will then automatically uh, be on the, the US network without any hassle. So no DNS settings, no nothing. Uh, so I've connected my Chromecast to this thing. I've connected um, the Xbox downstairs to it. And only problem, of course, is in order for it to, to work, I need to have the PC upstairs up and running and connect it to any VPN that can tunnel through the states. So very straightforward. Any questions, you know, just drop me a message below. But uh, that's it on the five minutes.